Hey everyone, Matt Denham back again from the product team at Cognos Analytics, and I'm excited to tell you about the release of Cognos Analytics 11.2.0, because with that release comes a ton of available extensions to make your dashboarding experience even stronger. One example of those is a drop-down filter widget. This is something that uh, we've been asked about for quite a long time. We've got a ton of filtering work that we're going to be doing, but this extension is going to give you the ability to add content directly onto the canvas and give the author the choice of specifying single select or multi-select so that your consumers can interact with the filter directly on the canvas. We've also added a search filter control that this is something else that you can add directly to the canvas and you would tie those to different visualizations so you can just type in variables or values and filter accordingly. We have extensions that add a ton more properties to the KPI, the table, crosstab, a bunch of other visualizations. Uh, so we'll go into those as well. We've got action buttons. So if you want to control how you might want to lay out different dashboards and navigate between them, action buttons are definitely the way to go. We've got a really cool, rich text widget extensions that I'll, extension that I'll, I'll show you guys as well. And finally, my favorite, the ability to specify color for any object in any chart on your canvas. So if you have, um, you know, if you have a, a specific value that you want to be colored in a very specific way, this extension is going to give you that level of control. So I'm going to add links to all of these different extensions in the description. Please check them out. Let's take a look. All right, so I've put together a dashboard that has a bunch of extensions all thrown together onto this the one canvas to give you an idea of everything that's possible with the extensions in this release. So let's start out with a couple of new properties. One on the KPI. So you might notice that the text here of the value is actually a different color than the indicator based on the condition that I've defined. So right uh, with the KPI, you can control exactly how you want the color of the indicator to, to obey. And in the previous iteration, this color of the number itself would maintain that uh, same color. They were tied together. So now with the additional KPI properties extension, I can right click on this value and say style text. So of course the indicator is going to maintain the color that you've defined in your threshold. But if I want to change the color of the text itself, I mean, I could make this blue or, or something else completely unrelated and, and change the font and the, the style, etc. So that one's easy. Now let's look at some of the other additional properties on visualizations. So if I take my cross tab, for instance, we added some cell border color. If I wanted the border to be something like yellow for whatever reason and adjust the, you know, the header value, again, I'm going to pick blue. And, you know, I could, I could make a fill color as well. Of course, I've got some conditional formatting defined here. So I'm just going to back out of those changes. But I think you get the idea of what you can do now um, in the cross tab. Other visualizations have additional properties as well. So I could go to the axes of uh, this area chart, for example, and start adjusti adjusting the axes label colors. There's a whole bunch of different options that we have in here. Um, so feel free to take a look at that extension as well and see if there's something that you would like to add to your visualization. Now one other thing you might see here are these buttons along the top. These are action buttons and the way that they work is you essentially record what you want to happen. So if I select this button and show the actions, I've recorded an action here which captures the top three of this visualization and my action is to play that recording. So what that looks like is as I click on this as a consumer, right, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to see what my top three are. Oh, great. So I can see what products are doing well, toggle that to which products are uh, not doing as well. And I've even added a reset here in case that's something that I wanted to make uh, more usable for my consumers as well. So lots of different options in terms of buttons. Now you might also see that I've got these two drop downs right beside it. These are actually action drop downs. So what I've done is I've captured myself as the author toggling between different axes, right? So one example might be I'm, I'm kind of looking at uh, revenue with the target of planned revenue by product line. I could see what the product line looks like in terms of quantity sold as well. And then the visualization is going to update accordingly. And likewise, I could toggle between 
product line, and loyalty status. So that's pretty cool. You can record these things to do whatever you would like. Now, I've got a couple of other filter controls that we've added via extension as well. So these can be handled via property, and I can choose if I want it to be a multi-select, as in this case, or a single select, as in this case. And so you can see as these things are applied to the entire canvas. We've also got a search filter control. So if I wanted to search on a given province or state, again, this is just tied to a specific field that I populated this with. So province or state, education versus country. And I can also easily back out of all of these changes that I'm making, right? Just by modifying them on the fly. You can see this rich text widget. This is an area where I can go in and apply my own type of observations and other values to really highlight from a data-driven perspective how I would want these things to look. I can adjust the color and then and the font. You see this is, I've changed this value that's being driven by a field. Again, I'm populating this using product line and revenue to do some, in this case, conditional formatting, but there's a lot of different options that you can do in here as well. Finally, one of my favorite features, because it's something that uh, a lot of people have been asking for, uh, and it's something we will absolutely add to the product uh, built in, but for now, via extension, if I want TV and video game product line, for example, I can right click on that and pick a custom value. So if I want this to be, now that's a good example, let's say, again, we'll pick this yellow, I'm picking on yellow here, hit apply, and you see that everywhere on the dashboard where I had that TV and video games is now turned yellow. In fact, if I switch this back from loyalty status to product line, you can see that it's updated here as well. Now, I've added as well another button down at the bottom that, again, by way of recording actions, I can set this to go to the next page. And you'll see that uh, as I've navigated to the second tab, the TV and video game product line has, of course, maintained that color selection. And I can, if I want to reset it, I can set it back just by clicking reset, or I can, again, I've got the full breadth of control here if I want to specify an exact value. Lots of different ways to do that. Now, one other extension that we have is the ability, the ability to share via a parameterized URL. So what does that mean? Here on this tab, I've added a couple of different coupons. So let me clear this and I'll just grab a couple of different ones at random, hit done. And I'm gonna do the same, we'll just take, uh, let's say rural specifically and hit done. Now, if I wanna share this with a colleague, hit share, link, you can see that I've now embedded the values directly in the URL. So if I, I haven't had to save the dashboard, that part is key, I can now share this link to my friends and colleagues. And then simply return back to the previous page. And you'll see that the change to the color was made based on my reset. So that's a very quick pass through a number of the different extensions that are available now in Cognos Analytics 11.2.0. And we're gonna be looking to add even more. So stay tuned here to see what else we've got. Thanks everyone.